Hello and welcome to the news from Bahrain International. I'm Samar Ajawi. As per the orders of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, the Minister of the Royal Court has expressed deepest thanks and appreciation to the members of the Royal Family for their greetings to His Majesty on the National Day in commemoration of the establishment of the modern Bahraini state as an Arab and Muslim country founded by Ahmed Al Fatah in 1783 and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. The Royal Court Minister extended thanks to heads and members of all state entities, constitutional establishments, members of the diplomatic corps, heads and members of the municipal councils and private companies for their good wishes to His Majesty the King. He also expressed thanks to the citizens at home and abroad, heads of national societies, heads and members of national clubs, sports associations, national bodies, chief editors of local newspapers and various media outlets, as well as residents in the Kingdom of Bahrain. The Royal Court thanked all those who took part in the celebrations and expressed their good wishes to His Majesty the King on these glorious days through cables, calls, press announcements, street banners, festivities across Bahrain, as well as poems, articles, radio and television interviews, wishing Bahrain lasting security, stability, progress and prosperity. The first Deputy Chairman of the Supreme Council for Youth and Sports and President of the Bahrain Olympic Committee, His Highness Sheikh Khaled bin Hamad Al Khalifa, congratulated the Bou Muhammad family for winning the $100,000 award in the TV competition program Seen Jim. The program, instructed by His Highness's media office in cooperation with the Ministry of Information Affairs, was broadcast on Bahrain television channel as part of His Highness's initiative aimed at supporting cultural, social and humanitarian fields. His Highness stated that he shall continue to launch initiatives that are within the directives of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa to support various fields. He expressed his aspirations of strengthening social relations and patriotism among the participants through these initiatives. He added that the strong competition witnessed by the contestants in the program Scene Jim contributed to the success of the TV show. His Honest praised the support of the Ministry of Information Affairs led by the Minister Ali bin Muhammad al rumehi and the backing of the National Bank of Bahrain, which reflects the bank's keenness to strengthen community partnership. The The Speaker of the Representative Council, Fawziya Zainal, praised the patronage of His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa for the families of the Martyrs of Duty and for designating December 17th annually as a day to remember them and their contribution to ensure the security and stability of the Kingdom. In a statement, Zainal affirmed that Martyr Day honors those who have sacrificed themselves for the country and have become its source of pride. She affirmed that the Council's full backing for all initiatives that support the families of the martyrs of duty. She praised His Majesty's royal statement delivered at the commemoration ceremony that took place at Sakhir Palace in the presence of His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. She expressed thanks and appreciation for the armed and security forces who are central to the comprehensive development process under the leadership of His Majesty the King. Zainal finally prayed for the souls of the martyr to rest in peace and for the kingdom to enjoy lasting peace, security and prosperity under the leadership of His Majesty the King. The Shura Council Chairman Ali bin Saleh al-Saleh paid homage to the martyrs of duty from the Bahrain Defense Force, the Interior Ministry and the National Guard, describing them as well-established models in loyalty, patriotism and sacrifice. He stressed that the National Day, dedicated by His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa al-Khalifa as a commemoration day, expresses pride and appreciation for the martyrs of duty and their sacrifice in defending the nation and its achievements. Al-Saleh expressed utmost thanks and gratitude to His Majesty the King for his noble initiative in designating a National Day for the Martyrs of Duty as part of the Kingdom's National Day celebrations. He stressed the continued support of the military and security institutions and their efforts to protect the community. The Secretary General of the Royal Humanitarian Foundation and head of the national campaign, Fina Khair, Dr. Mustafa Saeed announced that the Ministry of Education has begun distributing laptop computers to the needy students in schools as part of the initiative of the national campaign. He noted that the Coordination Committee, in cooperation with the Ministry of Education, has worked to provide 10,000 computers to be distributed to Bahraini students from needy families and government schools, in addition to distributing 2,500 laptops to the students of the University of Bahrain 
to ensure the continuation of the educational process during the academic year 2020-2021, in which study was approved remotely. For his part, the Minister of Education, Dr. Majid bin Ali Al-Naimi, praised the national campaign Fina Khair launched by His Highness, Sheikh Nasser bin Hamad Al Khalifa, which achieved great success to support the national efforts to address the corona virus pandemic. The Asian Parliamentary Assembly elected the representative Ahmed Sobah as Salum as Vice President of the Asian Parliamentary Assembly and Chairman of the Association's Financial and Economic Affairs Committee, a notable achievement which comes as a continuation of the civil sector's achievements for the Kingdom of Bahrain. As Salum affirmed that he is honored to present this Asian Parliamentary achievement to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa and to the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, His Royal Highness Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa. During the meeting, As-Saloum reviewed the successful and comprehensive Bahraini experience in facing the corona pandemic and the directions of His Majesty the King to provide the corona vaccine to all citizens and residents of the kingdom free of charge and optional, an initiative that affirms the human values of the Kingdom of Bahrain. As-Saloum also reviewed the preventative precautionary measures taken by Bahrain team led by the Crown Prince and Prime Minister. May God preserve him. Bahrain's embassy to Germany held a virtual celebration to mark Bahrain's National Day celebrations commemorating the 1783 establishment of the modern Bahraini state in the era of its founder, Ahmed al-Fatih, as an Arab Muslim state and the anniversary of His Majesty the King's accession to the throne. Bahrain's ambassador to Germany, Abdullah Abdul Latif Abdullah, offered his sincere congratulations and greetings to His Majesty King Hamad bin Isa Al Khalifa, His Royal Highness the Crown Prince and Prime Minister, Prince Salman bin Hamad Al Khalifa, and to Bahrain's government and people. He took pride in the achievements of the kingdom in the prosperous era of His Majesty the King and the in the advancements of the country in many areas such as human rights, freedom of religion, sustainable development, labor market reforms, empowerment and advancement of women and other fields. He recalled the large contributions and tremendous role of the late His Royal Highness, Prince Khalifa bin Salman Al Khalifa, in the development, prosperity, and overall boost in the kingdom. The Ministry of Health said today that the number of coronavirus cases reached 1,548, with 156 recoveries, 143 registered new cases. 84 of the new registered cases are expatriates, 47 are contacts of active cases and 12 are travel related. The ministry urges everyone to adhere to the rules and avoid public spaces when possible.